Exodus chapter 36. Now Bezalel and Aholiab and every skillful person in whom the Lord has put skill and understanding to know how to perform all the work in the construction of the sanctuary shall perform in accordance with all that the Lord has commanded. Then Moses called Bezalel and Aholiab and every skillful person in whom the Lord had put skill, every one whose heart stirred him to come to the work to perform it. They received from Moses all the contributions which the sons of Israel had brought to perform the work in the construction of the sanctuary. And they still continued bringing to him free will offerings every morning. And all the skillful men who were performing all the work of the sanctuary came, each from the work which he was performing, and they said to Moses, The people are bringing much more than enough for the construction work which the Lord commanded us to perform. So Moses issued a command, and a proclamation was circulated throughout the camp, saying, Let no man or woman any longer perform work for the contributions of the sanctuary. Thus the people were restrained from bringing any more, for the material they had was sufficient and more than enough for all the work to perform it. All the skillful men among those who were performing the work made the tabernacle with ten curtains, of fine twisted linen and blue and purple and scarlet material, with cherubim, the work of a skillful workman, Bezalel made them. The length of each curtain was twenty-eight cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits. All the curtains had the same measurements. He joined five curtains to one another, and the other five curtains he joined to one another. He made loops of blue on the edge of the outermost curtain in the first set. He did likewise on the edge of the curtain that was outermost in the second set. He made fifty loops in the one curtain, and he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that was in the second set. The loops were opposite each other. He made fifty clasps of gold and joined the curtains to one another with the clasps. So the tabernacle was a unit. Then he made curtains of goat's hair for a tent over the tabernacle. He made eleven curtains in all. The length of each curtain was thirty cubits, and four cubits the width of each curtain. The eleven curtains had the same measurements. He joined five curtains by themselves, and the other six curtains by themselves. Moreover, he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that was outermost in the first set, and he made fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that was outermost in the second set. He made fifty clasps of bronze to join the tent together so that it would be a unit. He made a covering for the tent of ram skins dyed red, and a covering of porpoise skins above. Then he made the boards for the tabernacle of acacia wood, standing upright. Ten cubits was the length of each board, and one and a half cubits the width of each board. There were two tenons for each board, fitted to one another. Thus he did for all the boards of the tabernacle. He made the boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side, and he made forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards, two sockets under one board for its two tenons, and two sockets under another board for its two tenons. Then for the second side of the tabernacle, on the north side, he made twenty boards, and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. For the rear of the tabernacle to the west he made six boards. He made two boards for the corners of the tabernacle at the rear. They were double beneath, and together they were complete to its top, to the first ring. Thus he did with both of them for the two corners. There were eight boards with their sockets of silver, sixteen sockets, two under every board. Then he made bars of acacia wood, five for the boards of one side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle for the rear side to the west. He made the middle bar to pass through in the center of the boards from end to end. He overlaid the boards with gold and made their rings of gold as holders for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. Moreover, he made the veil of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen. He made it with cherubim, the work of a skillful workman. He made four pillars of acacia for it, and overlaid them with gold, with their hooks of gold, and he cast four sockets of silver for them. He made a screen for the doorway of the tents of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen, the work of a weaver, and he made its five pillars with their hooks, and he overlaid their tops and their bands with gold, but their five sockets were of bronze. Chapter 37 Now Bezalel made the ark of acacia wood. Its length was two and a half cubits, and its width one and a half cubits, and its height one and a half cubits. 
and he overlaid it with pure gold inside and out, and he made a gold molding for it all around. He cast four rings of gold for it on its four feet, even two rings on one side of it and two rings on the other side of it. He made poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. He put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark to carry it. He made a mercy seat of pure gold, two and a half cubits long and one and a half cubits wide. He made two cherubim of gold. He made them of hammered work at the two ends of the mercy seat, one cherub at the one end and one cherub at the other end. He made the cherubim of one piece with the mercy seat at the two ends. The cherubim had their wings spread upward, covering the mercy seat with their wings, with their faces toward each other. The faces of the cherubim were toward the mercy seat. Then he made the table of acacia wood, two cubits long and a cubit wide and one and a half cubits high. He overlaid it with pure gold and made a gold molding for it all around. He made a rim for it of a handbreadth all around and made a gold molding for its rim all around. He cast four gold rings for it and put the rings on the four corners that were on its four feet. Close by the rim were the rings, the holders for the poles to carry the table. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold to carry the table. He made the utensils which were on the table, its dishes and its pans and its bowls and its jars, with which to pour out drink offerings of pure gold. Then he made the lampstand of pure gold. He made the lampstand of hammered work, its base and its shaft, its cups, its bulbs and its flowers were of one piece with it. There were six branches going out of its sides, three branches of the lampstand from the one side of it and three branches of the lampstand from the other side of it. Three cups shaped like almond blossoms, a bulb and a flower in one branch, and three cups shaped like almond blossoms, a bulb and a flower in the other branch. So for the six branches going out of the lampstand, in the lampstand there were four cups shaped like almond blossoms, its bulbs and its flowers. And a bulb was under the first pair of branches coming out of it, and a bulb under the second pair of branches coming out of it, and a bulb under the third pair of branches coming out of it, for the six branches coming out of the lampstand. Their bulbs and their branches were of one piece with it. The whole of it was a single hammered work of pure gold. He made its seven lamps with its snuffers and its trays of pure gold. He made it and all its utensils from a talent of pure gold. Then he made the altar of incense of acacia wood, a cubit long and a cubit wide square, and two cubits high. Its horns were of one piece with it. He overlaid it with pure gold, its top and its sides all around, and its horns, and he made a gold molding for it all around. He made two golden rings for it under its molding, on its two sides, on opposite sides, as holders for poles with which to carry it. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold, and he made the holy anointing oil and the pure, fragrant incense of spices the work of a perfumer. Chapter 38. Then he made the altar a burnt offering of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits wide square and three cubits high. He made his horns on its four corners, its horns being of one piece with it, and he overlaid it with bronze. He made all the utensils of the altar, the pails and the shovels and the basins, the flesh hooks and the fire pans. He made all its utensils of bronze. He made for the altar a grating of bronze network beneath, under its ledge, reaching halfway up. He cast four rings on the four ends of the bronze grating as holders for the poles. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with bronze. He inserted the poles into the rings on the sides of the altar with which to carry it. He made it hollow with planks. Moreover, he made the laver of bronze with its base of bronze from the mirrors of the serving women who served at the doorway of the tent of meeting. Then he made the court. For the south side, the hangings of the court were of fine twisted linen, one hundred cubits. There are twenty pillars and there are twenty sockets made of bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were of silver. For the north side, there were one hundred cubits. There are twenty pillars and there are twenty sockets were of bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were of silver. For the west side, there were hangings of fifty cubits with their ten pillars and their ten sockets. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were of silver. For the east side, fifty cubits. The hangings for the one side of the gate were fifteen cubits, with their three pillars and their three sockets, and so for the other side. 
On both sides of the gate of the court were hangings of fifteen cubits with their three pillars and their three sockets. All the hangings of the court all around were of fine twisted linen. The sockets for the pillars were of bronze, the hooks of the pillars and their bands of silver, and the overlaying of their tops of silver. And all the pillars of the court were furnished with silver bands. The screen of the gate of the court was the work of the weaver, of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen. And the length was twenty cubits, and the height was five cubits, corresponding to the hangings of the court. Their four pillars and their four sockets were of bronze, their hooks were of silver, and the overlaying of their tops and their bands were of silver. All the pegs of the tabernacle and of the court all around were of bronze. This is the number of the things for the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the testimony, as they were numbered according to the command of Moses for the service of the Levites, by the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. Now Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, made all that the Lord had commanded Moses. With him was Aholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, an engraver, and a skillful workman, and a weaver in blue and in purple, and in scarlet material, and fine linen. All the gold that was used for the work, in all the work of the sanctuary, even the gold of the wave offering, was twenty-nine talents and seven hundred thirty shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The silver of those of the congregation who were numbered was one hundred talents and one thousand seven hundred seventy-five shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. A becca a head, that is half a shekel, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, for each one who passed over to those who were numbered, from twenty years old and upward, for six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty men. The hundred talents of silver were for casting the sockets of the sanctuary and the sockets of the veil, one hundred sockets for the hundred talents, a talent for a socket. Of the one thousand seven hundred seventy-five shekels, he made hooks for the pillars, and overlaid their tops, and made bands for them. The bronze of the wave offering was seventy talents, and two thousand four hundred shekels. With it he made the sockets to the doorway of the tent of meeting, and the bronze altar, and its bronze grating, and all the utensils of the altar, and the sockets of the court all around, and the sockets of the gate of the court, and all the pegs of the tabernacle, and all the pegs of the court all around. Mm -hmm.